My name is Leonard Andrew Woodward, or Woody. Woody is a nickname for the name of Woodward. Okay, that's great. I'm Tell us your name, Woody. My name is Leonard Andrew Woody Woodward. Woody is the nickname for Woodward. Who gave you that nickname? I adopted that nickname in 1919 when I first got my amateur radio license. All amateurs have a nickname on the air. They don't use their first name. They just use their call sign and a nickname. They call it a, a handle. Tell us where you grew up. Tell us about where you grew up. I was born in southeastern Kansas in Montgomery County, north of Coffville, Kansas, in the river bottoms on a small farm in 1911. And uh, before World War I was broke out. I remember the, when Kaiser Bill went into the Balkan States, read it in history and remembered it, read it in the newspapers. And the, uh, when I, I'll go through the diaper stage of uh, my babyhood life up to the age of uh, about seven years old. In late 1917, I had an uncle, my brother's, my dad's brother, was drafted into Camp Funston for training for World War I, which he never returned from World War I. But uh, in 19, when I was, 1917 is when I really start remembering I had got a hold of an old scout handbook from the library at Caulfield, and I had to walk 12 miles to check out that book to read it. I kept it for two weeks. I'd take it back and I'd check it out for another two weeks. I had that book memorized. It's a book about like this one here. The, the back cover, the cover's gone off this. This is an old 1911 Boy Scout handbook. There's things in here that's not in your present day Scout book. But the uh, I had the dreams of becoming a Boy Scout when I became 12 years old. That's the age you had to be at that time. In late 1917, the flu epidemic broke out. Got started in late 17. In you can so just have him talk to you there. Ready? In, ready? Yeah, yeah we're ready. In 1918, the flu epidemic was sweeping the nation. I came down with that flu. And I, they said I would never pull through it. They had nothing to treat the uh, flu at that time. They hadn't even invented Vicks Vapor Rub or Mustard Roll. All they had was mustard plaster and pneumatizing to treat it with. The, uh, I am one of the very few from our area that had that flu. And I didn't think I'd ever live through it. That lived to tell about it. I remember seeing the the old horse-drawn hearse, drawn with two black horses coming into the farm area, looking for white sheets hanging on the front porch to go there to pick up a, a corpse to take it to the undertakers. That's how bad it was. There were more people killed with the flu epidemic of 1918 than the World War I uh, took. Well, my dreams of becoming a Boy Scout all went out the window. I didn't think I'd ever live to... Uh, become a Boy Scout in 1922, so that was a few years ahead. But I did, I pulled through it, and uh, I think living on the farm, milking cows, slopping the hogs, feeding the horses, helping plow the fields when I was just a young boy, kept me in good shape uh, physically for that. My parents are of uh, Swedish, uh, Mohawk Indian, and English, so I have a Mohawk blood in me, and I claim that's where my strong genes come from. The years rolled by through the war, 